What's up guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Welcome back to the channel. I got a really fun email this morning. First thing when I woke up in the team at the ranchers have actually accepted me into their ambassador program. So uh, the email just, you know, says if I still want to be a part of it, let them know by October 25th and they're going to get me a steam key and uh, just let me in on all the details on what build they're on. And um, I honestly, I don't think it doesn't, they didn't word the email like there was going to be any NDA. As a matter of fact, they want me to make videos and stream the game. So I think that is going to be pretty, pretty cool. I know you guys have probably seen a little bit about this or you watched my video on it a long while ago, but yeah, this is a like country life ranching sim. And uh, I just kind of wanted to jump in and kind of talk about some of the features, what the game is, what you guys are going to see, and then hopefully, um, I'm assuming probably a probably before Halloween, we'll start getting some videos out of actual Let's Play footage, and uh, we'll also do some Ranchers live stream. So they've already hit all their goals on Kickstarter, so all of that, they smashed that out of the park. They hit their goal. I, I, I don't even think it took a month for them to hit their goal um, and then they're continuously adding new features and, and all of that. So the game, the game itself, uh, straight from their actual Kickstarter website, Farm, Ranch, Build, and Explore. The Ranchers is an open world country life sim game for one to four players. Raise animals, grow crops, craft machines, build your dream house, and explore the gigantic open world while earning the villagers respect and esteem. Who knows, maybe you'll find love and start a family. <laughs> uh, journey deep down in treacherous mines where dangerous monsters lurk in the darkness. And also, too, the game's going to have like a little town so you can meet villagers. Um, they go on to say, meet many colorful characters and discover their atypical personalities, everyday life, and fascinating stories. These villagers will go to work. You'll see them at the park. They'll go to restaurants. Uh, they'll play sports. They'll interact with each other and you in all kinds of ways. Um, it's not just like an NPC kind of sitting at a stand and you go find them. You could see them anywhere throughout the world. Um, and then also, too, it says take the time to get to know them, make friendships, and who knows, maybe you'll find love, move in together, and start a family. So they've got Pablo, Alicia, Eva, Nina, even Bruno, Chris, and Hazel. And uh, some of the features, build your ranch. When settling in a brand new world, you have to create your ranch from scratch, which everything, and with everything it entails. So that's what you probably saw right there at the beginning of the trailer. You start out in a tent, like you claim the land and you're sleeping in your tent to get your ranch started. Um, it says build building houses, raising animals, growing crops, and finding the perfect balance between becoming self-sustaining and selling your products to the villagers all play a part in expanding your ranch. So there's going to be a lot going into what types of crops do you decide to build, what type or, you know, do you decide to grow, what type of animals do you decide to raise. All of this factors in as far as cost and profit, and you'll have to keep up with that too. Like, is it worth it to go ahead and buy these milk cows, or should we go ahead and buy chickens and do eggs? There's just going to be a plethora of different options you'll have, and essentially business decisions you'll have to make. Um, and speaking of raising animals, it says farm animals are not only great companions, but they are vital for your small business. Raise a great variety of livestock on your ranch, such as cows, chickens, horses, pigs, sheep, rabbit. Uh, they're going to have llamas, goats, ducks, peafowl, turkey, ostrich. They're, it's going to be, a, they've added a bunch since this Kickstarter as well. Um, and animals can be bred, though you'll first need to build a cooper barn to house them. Take care of your livestock, feed them, and make sure they're happy. Happy livestock will give you valuable resources that you can sell to make money and in turn expand the ranch. Or you can use the resources to cook recipes, growing crops, making dinners. That's going to be a big thing in this as well. And uh, we'll just move right on to the crops. Uh, crops can be a stable source of food, but also attract well-paying villagers that need carrots or onions for their dinner. So there's going to be a lot of different reasons for you to kind of delve in to these different crops. Um, 
They've got barley, chili, garlic, bell peppers. You'll be able to grow carrots, lettuce, sunflowers, grapes, pumpkins, strawberries, potatoes, tomatoes, corn, melon, onion. <laughs> what was that? Uh, greens, beans, tomatoes, potatoes. You name it. <laughs> Some crops can only grow in a specific season. Others can be planted in multiple seasons and be harvested several times. But you can also build a greenhouse and, mar and make them grow out of season. But that will come at a cost and... Last but not least, they will also have fruit trees that you can grow on the property and sell like the olive trees, apple, peach, orange, lemon, and banana trees. Uh, fruit trees, they say, are bi-seasonal. They're able to grow two seasons out of the year and they will wither um, off season. Uh, next part of the Kickstarter, you can go fishing. Not only can you raise animals, but you can catch some too. Venture off the coast to try your luck with fishing. Maybe you'll catch a rare one. And this is like almost like a really, really in-depth 3D uh, Animal Crossing. If you if you like Animal Crossing, if you like Stardew Valley, I, I kind of if you even like The Sims, this is like the perfect little game all wrapped up in one of what these guys are trying to do. But um, as far as the fishing goes, you can catch shark, salmon, goldfish, piranha, whiting, tuna, pufferfish, angelfish, tilapia, and swordfish, and many more to come. Uh, some fish, it says, will be available to catch in rivers, and, and some only in the sea. The variety of fish you can catch will also depend on the season, time of day, weather conditions, just kind of like Animal Crossing. Remember, some fish come in and out of season. Very, very cool. Uh, caught fish can be donated to the Rancher's Museum, sold to well-paying villagers, or cooked into one of your delicious recipes. Up next, fishing is not the only outdoor activity you'll be able to do. They're also going to have hunting. Um, they say fishing is relaxing, but if you're looking for something more thrilling, you can go horseback hunting in the wild. You can use lethal or non-lethal projectiles when hunting. Wild animals can be donated to the Rancher's Museum or sold to via, or to villagers. And uh, up next, we'll just keep rolling right along. Villagers' vehicles. Vehicles can be bought from one of the many car dealers in ranchers' country. They can be used to make deliveries, transport your animals, explore faraway places, or simply cruise around with your friends and loved ones. Each vehicle has a specific set of specifications like speed, handling, acceleration, passenger capacity, storage capacity, and energy needs and consumption. So you'll have to remember these things are going to require different level of needs uh, for the size of the truck. Obviously, your little motorcycle is not going to consume as much energy and fuel as like your farm vehicle transport truck. Um, so that's just kind of one of the things to keep in mind. They're going to have cars, motorcycles. You can jump on your little bicycle and head into town. Depending on your type of vehicle you're using, some of them, for instance, bicycles, will drain your player energy, while others will need electricity or fuel. You can refuel your vehicles with combustion engines at one of the many gas stations in the rancher's world. And if you do plan to go off-road for a longer period, make sure to have some fuel jerry cans just in case, so you will be able to pack those and take them with you. And of course, driving conditions are also related to weather conditions, so watch that snow out there. Systemic engine, the Ranchers is built on top of our in-house systemic engine um, layer, which is a technical term to say that all props in the game are interactable and react to weather conditions, players, NPC interactions, and the classical elements, water, fire, air. The systemic engine brings a huge level of realism leading to a unique and totally autonomous world simulation by giving our players an unseen level of freedom to experiment with the ranchers' open world all they want. So that is just some of the, the early systems. You're going to be able to cut down trees, uh, bust, up, uh, bust up logs, bust up stones. There is, uh, there, there's going to be a lot. There's going to be quests. There's going to be contracts. You're going to be able to have pets. Um, it says you can have dogs, cats, or both. Some people are getting tigers, too. Take care of your pet, watch him or her grow, and discover its unique personality. Your pet will play around the farm and come inside the house with you. Um, there's going to be festivals. Um, you know, challenge your, it says challenging your farming skills, cooking, crafting, and hunting skills by taking part in these dynamic country festivals. Two festivals are held every season. So, you know, when we're getting close to... 
uh, Halloween time, they might have you build a pumpkin pie or like that is going to be the competition at the festival for you to get ready for. Um, dynamic weather, time, and seasons. The whole player experience in the game world simulation change when the weather and seasons change. Combined, combined with the systemic engine, that gives a rich and unique player experience every in-game day. The rancher's dynamic weather includes sun, wind, rain, fog, storms, and snow, with two intensity variations for each. Weather, heather, uh, heavy rain or light rain. Um, romancing the villagers. Discover villagers' personalities, what they like, what they don't like. Use the many resources and items available in the rancher's world to make them gifts, earn their friendship and love. There's going to be a skill tree as you're mostly into farming, crafting, building, combat, and hunting. Improve your character with various skills that will serve you both on the ranch and on your adventures. So obviously if you're not a big hunter and you're not into combat, you'll want to look at raising your farming, crafting, and building uh, up the most as, like we said, the hunting and that doesn't uh, doesn't matter to you as much. Um, customization, be yourself or someone else. Customize your character the way you like with a wide range of hair, clothes, and accessories. Be the rancher you already are or the rancher you always wanted to be. Um, the game is going to start out with more than 200 build items that range from foundations, windows, ceilings, furniture, hi-fi, and decorative objects. Uh, if you can dream it, you can surely build it. And then of course the one thing we have to hit on a lot of you guys were wondering about is how true open world is it? Um from what I can tell it is a massive open world map. Um from countryside to the city on foot, horseback, scooter, pickup or yacht, explore a gigantic world where new adventures are to be found around every corner and this stuff is dynamic. So things that might happen to you might not happen to your buddy. So, you know, that's going to be I think are really, really interesting as well for your adventures. And speaking of adventures, you can also adventure to dangerous territories. You probably saw that at the end of the trailer and were like, what the? What? Discover and explore mines, dungeons, wild islands, and shipwrecks to recover ultra rare minerals and gems. But beware, monsters are waiting for you. Monsters will never be in your ranch or near crowded places. It's really up to you to go fight when you feel you're really ready for it. So yeah, don't have to worry about the monsters coming in and uh, swapping up your horses and any of that. You have to go find, uh, you have to go find the baddies. And then uh, co-op mode, invite one to three players to enjoy you in your ranch online. I already know I'm going to get a, a message. I I've got a message bold. She's absolutely has to come in here and help me with this. Claire, basic builder. I see all of those guys. Cybers, she'll probably jump in and We'll start a ranch together. There is just, I think this is going to be a really, really fun game. Um, and it says your friends can help you develop your ranch, fulfill your goals, or explore the vast open world of the ranchers together. So if I have to, if I have to go into one of those mines, uh, I might be calling some of those guys up to see if they can come in and help me. The ranchers feature seamless multiplayer, which means your friends will be able to join you in your ranch at any time by using their in-game train station without any game interruption, loading screen, or even a lobby. Just like in real life, if they see you're on and you are in your ranch, they can take the train and they will cycle in without you having to stop and load up and get them and uh, so that is, uh, that is, I think, is a really, really nice touch. But yeah, guys, like I said, really, really excited. I got that email. Um, I am not, this is a completely unpaid, uh, you know, venture for me. The only thing they are doing is giving me a Steam early access key, which I am really, really grateful for. So yeah, we'll just have to jump in and see if we have any fun with this. I have no real world experience with this as of October 19th. So like I said, they just emailed me this morning. I wrote them back and said, thank you for the opportunity. I would love to help with this. And uh, so yeah, I'm sure the PR team is going to get back with me soon, maybe even as soon as this weekend, and we can jump in and have a go at this. I do have to work Sunday, but I am off Saturday all day. So might jump in. If I have the key by then, maybe we can jump in Friday evening for a little stream or definitely get something going by Saturday. Like I said, Sunday, 
little bit of little bit of a weird weekend. I don't usually work the weekends, but I do have to cover uh, Sunday, so I will not be around for most of the day for that. But anyways, as always, let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if you're interested in this. And of course, I'll link all of their stuff down below. Um, like we said, the Kickstarter is over, but you can still go to their Discord. And uh, when this game is ready to go, you can like it on Steam and uh, come back here and watch me play it until we're ready to, uh, till they're ready to release it to the world here. So we don't have an actual uh, delivery date yet. Some of the early alpha people, the early backers are just now starting to get their hands on it. So it'll probably be a little while before early access. I would say 2023, probably at the earliest, but it sounds like I'm going to get pretty, pretty access pretty soon. So Definitely looking forward to jumping on here and seeing what we can make happen with this. It looks like a really, really fun, fun title. So, yes, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me. And I'll catch you in the next video.